Let's start. The first file, of course, is the Docker file. Docker file, okay. The next file that we need is this nginx.config.com. I'm going to update this later once we're done with the Docker file. So in our Docker file, we need this node. We need a uh, node. We need node. Retest. Whoa. Retest. As build. Then we need to create our working folder. Let's just make it up. And um, in a typical uh, Angular project, you will have this package package that JSON and package lock.json. So we need that. And uh, let's copy all of that. Um, copy package. Ah, sorry. I package. So we will select all of the package file and put it inside our directory folder. Okay, that's it. Next, <clears throat> we need to uh, run this uh, npm ci to make sure everything is fresh, or it will not. You will not have problems with Docker cache. So you can check that. You can check that later. But in this demo, I will have that command. Once we have this, we need to install our. Uh, we need uh, we need to install the Angular CLI inside your Docker image. npm install install g Angular Angular CLI. Okay, that's it. And after that, we need to copy everything. Next, we need to install all the dependencies of your project, of the project, of the project. Install, run, and be install. Once everything is added or added, we need to we can now run the ng or the angular build command and that's it that's the first stage that we that we need for our docker file the next stage is to have the nginx ng nginx image and you can just type it like this ngx latest and uh yeah that's it and uh yeah the next the next thing that we need to do is to copy this. We need to copy this ng nginx config inside the ng nginx um, ng nginx image, and we can just do it like this. Oh, sorry, nginx config, and we will put that inside etc. Um, et ng ng i n x uh, can't, can't do that b um yeah can that b um the fold that can't default ng config default okay we're done with that. Next one is we need to copy the build. Um, we need to copy build from build. We need to get this distribution um, folder. Uh, we need all we need all the files and folders inside this distribution front and Angular and uh, this browser folder. So we just need to. Uh, get to that uh, get into that folder app then this um, front end uh, angular sparing angular browser oops browser and we need to put that inside user um, 
some share and the ANX HTML if I'm not mistaken yeah okay then expose 80 expose port 80 <clears throat> that's all for our docker file let's go to our nginx uh, config file so we, you should have this server object and inside the server serv, uh, server object you need to open a port which is also 80 we need to define the server name as well which is localhost And the root should be the same here. Okay. Root. And uh, index should be uh, index, of course, index.html. Index.html. index.html then uh, we ha we also have this location um, yeah this is for handling um, the unexpected URI or uh, routes so that uh, uh, to make sure your application will work so yeah it's this is for handling that those uh, for handling that kind of situation so you just need to add uh, this try files um, URI and then you are you can just uh, you can just uh, search this uh, this um, ng nginx uh, server conf um, yeah so index.html equals 404. And I think that's it. That's everything we need for our files. So these two files are needed and we are ready to deploy this now using the uh, Azure Developer CLI. If you are not familiar with this, you can just download that from this URL, you can just search this Azure Developer CLI. Download the SDK and uh, yeah, that's everything you need to do. Once we have the files, you just need to initialize your project in it. You will be asked to use the code in the current directory. Yes, of course. As you can see, it automatically detected that this project is Angular. So let's just confirm that let's use 80 and uh, let's just use Ryan ECA angular angular yeah okay so once you're done with that you you will have the generated files as you have noticed it generates this Azure folder with some files inside of that Azure that YAML file also and infra folders which has all the necessary files and folders for the deployment okay so everything is there so the next thing the next command that you need to do is azd app okay um by the way i already logged into azd um uh, to Azure uh, to my uh, subscription account by um, if you're not if you're not logging yet you just need to, you, you can just execute this and you will be redirected or the, the browser will be opened for you to log in your account and I will not do that because I already did it so azd app and yeah so that's it so everything will be automatic you just need to wait for all the provisions and deployment oh sorry there's still questions that you need to answer just need to select the subscription id subscription account that you want to use of course i am in germany west central i'm going to use that for the location and uh, again that's it so you just need to wait for for this process to be to to, to be finished everything will be automatic you, did, you don't need to to um to do something after that you just need to wait 
So yeah, I'm gonna fast forward this recording because it this will take I think uh, five to ten minutes. So yeah. Okay, so it's done now. So as you can see here, we have this endpoint where we can check our deployed Angular application. Let's just click this. Oh, okay. Let's just copy instead. <clears throat> Let's open that. Yeah, so great. So as you 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 do, you only have two files to to, to add and you you only have two commands to execute and if we check that inside my Azure um, sub subscription account let's just refresh this this resource group has been generated or created for me automatically along with all the necessary resources Azure services for the deployment so yeah, that's how easy to deploy Angular or any uh, any project I think because uh, as you have uh, as you remember, um, Azure Developer CLI automatically detected which kind of project I have. So in this case, it's an Angular. Okay, so that's all. So I think this is helpful for you guys, and thank you for watching. Please subscribe and follow me here. Thank you. Bye.